Hello everyone, in peace of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends, and let us have some good time together. Today our topic, as you see on the screen, is Andrew Tate, and it's very sad and very uh, upsetting that we even need to spend some time speaking about such a filthy, trashy creature. You know, we are in a time where a pimp is a one who can teach your children. We are in a time where pimp he can get support. We are in a time where a pimp he will find millions of followers. We are in the time where a pimp is the one who can teach us how to be successful and how to live and how to die. Human being proven through history that he is the most dangerous creature He's filthy, he's trashy, he's a scumbag. When a human being, he loses his moral, and then he worship money and power and sex. And he is willing to abuse everybody, no matter who, for the sake of his own pleasure. And that they call him a successful businessman. And then, not only that, you will find people who they claim even to be Christians defending such a scumbag. You know those who call themselves conservative and they defend such a man? You are a pig. You are the trash of this earth. You are going to be the fuel of hellfire. You are no Christian. The Lord, he said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And when you support a pimp, you are a pimp. And when you support a thief, you are a thief. And when you support a rapist, you are a rapist. And when you like their ideas, that reveal who you are. Today, as you see the title, I notice in the last, you know, since this guy was arrested, and me, myself, I made a short prayer to the Lord, which is usually I don't do, that the Lord deal with this man expose him and we pray that the exposure will get bigger and bigger but since the arrest i did not see one single media speak about who is andrew tate if you search right now for who is andrew tate they will say to you uh he is a kickboxing uh, champion uh he is influencer uh, misogynic I mean they tell you everything except one sentence that he converted to Islam and I find it very strange that they speak about everything except his conversion to Islam and then I ask myself why I mean when you say who is this guy why you don't tell people who is this guy what is the problem exactly? How come before, just a few weeks ago, you flood the news, the, the, the news pages by and rotate, convert to Islam, and rotate, convert to Islam everywhere. But and rotate now is accused of rape, fraud, human trafficking, slavery, gang, violence. Suddenly, he is not in their radar as a Muslim. So what I'm trying to understand here that somebody is trying to get Islam away from the news so people will not know the relationship between such a pimp and Islam. You will notice that Andrew Tate, he made it clear, and I will show you one of his own tweet, which I just saw actually, just now, two minutes ago. This is why I am a Muslim. Andrew Tate is telling us, any Christian who believe in God and understand the true battle against evil must convert. So be patient indeed, the promise of Allah is a truth. Andrew Tate, he found that Islam is the one or the way to fight against evil. So how we fight, fight against evil? We practice what Muhammad said. You date four women, 
you are allowed to lie to them as Quran and Muhammad said. Muhammad, he said, the man, he can lie to his wife, he can lie to his, uh, the wife, she can lie to her husband. So we create a social network of lying. We lie to each other. And nobody feel guilty. And this is how we fight evil by creating a network of evil liars. And rotate, he, in, in his videos, actually there's a video I want to share with you in a second. He said, he called six girlfriends. Each one of them, she think that she is the only girlfriend. He brought them and he told them, let us get rich. And he started controlling them. And he said, actually, in the video I just saw before I go live, and there's a lawyer, he made a video about him, playing his video. I don't care for the lawyer, by the way. I care for what the video, he, he imagine this guy is doing seminars. This guy is doing seminars. He's teaching you how to control a girl by effing her. Excuse my language. He's training you how to control a girl by fooling her, by controlling her, by having sex with her. So she could be, he said, the, who is the one will be loyal to? The, the girl will be loyal to. The one who just give her a job or the one who F her. This is why this guy, he loved Islam and he found Islam is way, be way better for him than Christianity because Christianity does not fit in any way, in any mean with his faith, with his demonic, with his satanic action. Any Christian who believe in good, you know, when the Muslims, they were surrounding this guy like cats, meow, meow. And Mimi Hijab, he touch his hand and he get closer and he is in love and love bring a lot of love. And when, uh, uh, you know, Ali Dawa and uh, the friends of Ali Dawa and all the crazy stuff of Ali Dawa and Ali Dawa, he made a video defending uh, Mimi, sorry, uh, uh, Andrew Tate and not only that, after not less than 10 seconds of the starting of the video, he promote a website, find your four match. Go and find four girls. Are you brother looking for a, for a, for a female? You're half, half, what half? You must then believe in four at the same time. This is what Andrew Tate, you like about, about it. The Quran says you can beat them. If you feel rebellion, chapter four, verse number 34, if you feel that those women are rebellion, beat them. Chapter four, 20, chapter 24, verse number 33 says, Force not your girls for prostitution if they desire not. But if you force them, Allah is all merciful. No penalty in the Quran for prostitution. In fact, it's encouraging you to do business as a pimp. Violence, abuse, sex, money is Islam. And this is exactly Andrew Tate, the true Muslim. This is why Andrew Tate, he found himself in the right spot, in the right place with Islam. Because both of them, they believe in the same thing. If we go right now in the Quran, we will find the Quran says, beat them. If you fear that they are going to be a rebellion, what we do? Beat the hell of them. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it. They said to you, oh no, we beat them lightly. Be, isn't it a penalty, lightly? Uh, you know, we have a stories where a woman, she came to Muhammad and her husband did beat her until he made her skin greener than her clothing. Muhammad never questioned the man about beating. He questioned him, what's going on? And when the man, he said to him, she is lying, the prophet, he to the side, and not only that, he gave them the verse, beat them. He confirmed the beating. He confirmed the beating. So if we go in the Quran here, and by the way, uh, the Muslim, they might add things in the Quran like number one, number two, number three. This is the lie. Admonish them. If you fear rebellion, they are not rebellion yet. If you fear rebellion, admonish them, banish them, embed the part, and discourage them. By the way, banish them in the bed. This is false. It's not about not to sleep with them in the bed. It's about to jail them in their rooms. 
and you can choose which one you do first scourge them jail them humility as you wish for you are in charge you know I saw somebody he claimed to be Christian he said the Bible says that the women she should be submissive you idiot you stupid you coward you liar submissive you, the man he have to give himself to the to the to, to the, his wife the same as Christ he gave himself to the church so the some submissive here is about submissive the, for the good man who is doing the good thing for both. Not somebody want to do any slavery for her. Not somebody want to beat her. Not somebody want to abuse her. Not somebody want to take over her and control her. Only foolish women would be submissive to such a man. When a woman, she is submissive to you because you are a good man. She loves you. She loves everything you do. You're never wrong. And if you are wrong, you apologize. This is what submissive means. So with the coward ones who they are false Christians, they like Islam. I say convert to Islam because Islam fit for you. The Lord, our Lord himself, he is born through a woman. He is the son of no man. When everybody tried to put the women down, and they tried to use some verses from the Bible, which has taken totally out of the meaning, we have to expose them and get them busted. Women is not a cow, is not a goat. She is your mother. She is your sister. She is your existence. If not her, you are not here. You came from her private part. What an idiot you are. Me as a person, I don't agree with something called women's right. Because shouldn't be women's right, should be human rights if we are really believed in a humanity why we want to say women right women do not need to be separated from the human race this is a human right her right to be respected her right to be to be heard her right to to say what she wants her right to decide what she wants how to live how to die whatever she wants Maybe the women, she want to go and join the army. It's war time. Okay, she would die now. She decided to do that. She's free. Who are you? And then we go and we teach the children how to make money. How to make money? By dating a bunch of women and fool them and make every one of them believe that you're going to marry her. And then I make each one of them have a tattoo, have my name. And those poor girls, they are in love. He is going to marry me. And then, honey, can you go in the camera for a little time? Yeah, we need to make money. I mean, how am I going to marry you? But, you know, what I want to show myself, this is not right. No, no, who said? Who care? Who care? We are in a free world now. Don't you see how many girls in the camera? Who care? Don't you go in the beach wearing bikini? What is different? Just take the bikini off. And fool those men. In a video made by a lawyer, let me put it for you on the screen. And again, I don't care for what the lawyers say. The lawyer is just talking about the legal aspect of the story. His channel called uh, Criminal Lawyer Legally Analyze. Let me go down. And rotate on, uh, like you know, incrimination, like what from his own words. And this is the channel name. You can go and watch the video. It is about thirty minutes, but is important for me in the video. This guy he was able to find an old video of the scam back and rotate. Guys, if you watch it, you will not believe it how filthy this man is. And this is his seminar, you have to pay for it. 
This is a seminar where people then learn how to open a PIM business. I mean, you see, this is Android, Android Tate education system. We have now a professor and he teach you how to control the women, how to fool them, how to tell them, you tell them, okay, you open your camera, you work for me, I will pay you 50%, but then you pay her 30% because you lied to her and you say to her, I'm going to pay tax. Imagine he's saying that. Imagine he said to her, he said, he said to you, after some time, this woman, she will start noticing that she is, you know, you are getting rich and she will try to get away from you. How you control her? You have to F her. And when she is in a chat room and those fool men, they are watching her, you don't let any information to come to her, like their contact, etc. Otherwise, later she will open her own business. You bring one girl and you tell her, I want to marry you. I love you. But be sure you pick up the most attractive women. If you go to the if in his word, if you go to the if in bar, what is that going to take at your attention? The bar, the men in the bar, or the most attractive women? And then he says some dirty words. This is how filthy this man is. And now I'm so happy that a lot of Muslims, they are leaving Islam because of Andrew Tate. You see, the Muslim, they thought they got a treasure. So they start using him to advertise for Islam. Andrew Tate, Mimi Hijab, all the scumbags in the world. But now people, they notice that what happened is a disaster. Andrew Tate, he was invited to the Dubai in Emirat Islamic Center. Every Islamic Center invited him to have interview with His Majesty. What the Islamic Centers will say now? Don't they knew that he is a pimp? They knew. Don't you know that his business is still running? Good and going? They knew. So why they invited him? Because this is Islam. Islam for the trash. Trash like Andrew Tate. And now the good ones between the Muslims, they will think carefully, look what and who is converting to our religion. Look who is the one who like it. And look who is the Muslim praising for conversion. Let me show you Andrew Tate in the Islamic Center in Dubai. And this is published by the Islamic Center of Dubai. Obviously, they are so proud about it. Andrew Tate praying in Dubai. Andrew Tate came to Jum'ah Salah, Friday prayer. Now, we knew that the Juma Center in Dubai is obviously a human trafficking place, maybe. Because why he's welcome? No, my friend, don't make an excuse. You cannot see the text. You can't see the text. Don't play blind. I will leave it there. You don't like it, you can leave. Because the whole video, the point of it is to make sure that everybody remember that this is scumbag, he is a Muslim and he is doing what he is doing because he and Islam, they enjoying the same value. So if you don't like the text in the screen, leave. You know, when first time I heard about this guy, I searched his name. The first thing I saw, it was a video of himself holding his penis. I'm serious. I click at, you know, video and then I saw and rotate playing with his penis I never I don't know who is this guy I never heard of him so I was shocked like what this is Andrew Tate that I'm talking about P people they post my comments speak about him guys focus with me in the topic and forget about the 100 thousands who care about the 100 thousand are you like the Muslim too 
celebrity people stop being silly who care for what the hundred thousand what we care for how many of the one hundred thousands are true people how many of them they are decent how many of them they are faithful who care about the 100 stop doing that numbers worshipers this is the problem by the way when somebody get a publicity and he get big numbers of followers you people you follow like goats nobody have a brain so what now if i have one follower that's mean i am not good Most of those who follow, they follow because there is a big number. When you have a small number, you struggle, nobody want to join. The goat mentality. Oh, this guy, he have a big subscriber. Let me subscribe to. It must be something interesting. Even if you are a scam back, they will subscribe to you. So stop fooling you with yourself with the numbers. Jesus himself, he have 12 subscribers. Not 12,000, not 12 millions. And yet you are happy about false numbers. Mean nothing. So those people who they are praising such a person and the media cover him all over, he converted to Islam, he is converted to Islam. How come after he's been arrested, nobody speak about his conversion? If you open every page, they will say to you, he is a kickboxer. Oh, they, uh, they, they seize his cars. Uh, I mean, what the? This is the news? They seize his cars? Really? That's so good, brother. Nobody says that this guy, he went to throw things in his life. Obviously, there's something. There's something wrong. Everybody end in somewhere, somehow, for a reason. And usually, bad things happen to you when you are a child is what's going to happen to you or will make you up later when you are a growing man. Nobody question what happened to this guy when he's a child. Why he turned so bad? Why he turned so evil? Where he learned this? Where he grow? Who was teaching him? This is what we need to know. What the media are focusing on is his cars. Three million euro car. This is how stupid your media is. If the media are really media and they are trying to investigate a criminal, go investigate his childhood. See what happened to him, how he turned into this, so we can teach our children not to go there. Every criminal end in a place because of a childhood. And then his youth. He don't go right away and he become a pimp. Somebody feeded him with poison. Made him believe that this is the way to live and this is the way to be successful and this is how good you are. As you see the guy, you don't think he is evil, he think he's good. He think he is a truly good. He think this is the way of life should be. And he is advising the Christian how to live. Any Christian who believe in good, listen carefully for the words, who believes in good, this guy, he don't believe in bad. This guy, he is telling you that he is struggling against evil. So it's not evil to fool women, to use them in a sexual way, to get rich and buy our expensive cars. No, no, this is halal. This is Islamic halal, brother. I am a believer in Allah, therefore I am doing good and I am fighting in a battle against evil. If you want to fight against evil, you need to convert and open a business as a pimp. Because this is what convert Muslim convert should do. And you know, if you tell me that the Muslim do not know who is this guy, 
you, you know, you are just like, li you know, like lying to yourself. If you are telling me that the Muslim, they are not aware that this guy is running a business until now, he never stopped. And the guy, he keep posting and stop before he convert to Islam and after convert to Islam, the same post about women abuse, about sex, about his business, about being a pimp, he's proud about it. But yet every Muslim interview him. In fact, I believe that the Muslim, they were struggling to have an interview with him because he's so busy. He is so busy. And because he is so busy, then it's very normal for the Muslims who want to talk to his majesty, who they want to use him to prove that Islam is the best, is to do an interview with him. Let us see here how many Muslims they interview and rotate. The Dean Show and rotate feature with Nu'man Ali Khan. Now, do the Dean Show knew that this guy is running a pimp business? They knew. Do they knew that this guy, he never stopped using the same language? They knew. But he is in their TV. Why? Because Islam and this guy in totally agreement. They both agree. And look, they put in the thump, it give me peace. What, why he converted to Islam? Because it gave him peace. We heard just two days ago that Taliban, they are worried about Andrew Tate. Taliban, pimp, but Taliban is drug dealers. So what is a surprise? <laughs> Hezbollah are, no, are, are the number one producer for drugs in the Middle East. Taliban is number one, etc., and the cartel in South uh, in South America. All of them, they are the same business, worshiping the devil. It give me peace, and this is Muhammad Hijab, peace be upon him. Life exclusive interview with the pimp, two point five million. You need to ask yourself, do Mimi Hijab, who go around asking women to suckle their breast, including their shake, do he knew who is this guy or he don't? He knew. So how they sit together next to each other and he hold his hand. Do they knew or not? They knew. So why they are featuring him in their channel interview Ali Dawa, he made a video just a few days ago brothers and sisters if somebody brought for you a bad news and he's a bad person don't listen to him don't stop attacking this guy and rotate our brother may Allah free him and by the way if you like to find your your match go to this website it's for wonderful you can find your the women you are looking for so he's trying to do the pimp business too I mean, the guy is arrested. The guy, he have a pile up of proofs against him. And Ali Dawa, the grape guy, the one who wear, you know, he wear a circus jacket. Brothers and sisters, if somebody come to you with lemonade and he told you this is an orange, are you going to believe him? If it walked like a lemon and it talked like a lemon, it tastes like lemon. So what it is? Obviously, it's not a watermelon. Ali Dawa is the wise man. So the guy, he walked like a pimp. He talk as a pimp, and he say he is a pimp, and yet he is still good for Ali Dawa.
I mean, can you believe how weird those people are? He walk like a pimp, he talk like a pimp, and he say he's a pimp, and he run a business as a pimp, and still he is not a pimp. This is remind me of one of my cousins, Abdul. He was going in a hunt. And he saw with his friends something move behind the bushes. His friend said to him, well, I think this is a bird. My cousin, he said, no, this is a goat. The friend said, no, no, I think it's a bird. Look, it's, you know, I see the wings. My cousin, he said, no, it's a goat. He said, okay, you want to bet? He said, sure. He said, let us shoot. If it doesn't fly, then it's a bird. If not, it's a goat. Deal? Okay. They shot and it fly. The friend said to him, see, I told you it is a bird. My cousin, he said, well, you know what? It is a goat, even if it doesn't fly. And this is Ali Dawa, six days ago, defending the pimp. Brothers and sisters, there is many false information in the internet. Hey, honey, can you give me some grape? Yes, not you, the other honey. Yes, no, no, that, that's one. Mashallah, I have many honey like Andre Pape, you know. Oh, Mashallah, Alhamdulillah, this is from the grace of my Allah. Okay, so many people come to you with different opinion, and everybody start hitting this guy. He's our brother. Why you are not getting his back? Allah knows what in his heart. Do you know what is in heart? Are you making yourself Allah now? So you know what in the heart of the man? Like what the heck? We need to know what in his heart. So the guy he have a business running as a pimp. He have hundreds of women working in the camera until now. And he keep talking about it and he have seminars long after he convert to Islam, speaking about how to, to, to run a business as a pimp. And now you are saying to me, this is a fake news? Brothers and sisters, please listen to me. Yes, listen. Are you listening? Well, I don't see anyone listening. I don't think you are listening. Okay, let me make it simple for you. So if it's a Christian, they are attacking our brother. Are we going to join force with them? Are we going to side with our brother? Or we side with the Christians? Or the Hindus? Brothers and sisters, Prophet of Allah, he said, we should support each other. He said, those believers are brothers. He's our brother. He's a pimp, so what? Everybody in certain point is a pimp. Expert. Oh boy. Look, 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 look. Muslim women on Andrew Tate reaction video. How exciting. Ali Dawa is featuring Muslim women having a reaction. I hope it's not a sexual reaction. I mean, this guy is a pimp and Muslim women, they have reaction? About what exactly? I mean, aren't you even ashamed? They have reaction. So we ask Andrew Tate what reaction of women is? If you go to the video of this guy, this lawyer, if you hear the video of Tate, you will die from his, you know, I mean, it's amazing how evil he is. It's disgusting. It's, it's scary. You know, this person, he have a very dark heart. Extremely dark heart. So he play his video, you know. Let us see, is the subtitle on okay girls in the first row of all this girls appear yeah and you know he is telling you about secret and the business when you go to a camera website sex business 
you will find somebody is answering you. You think this is the girl. No, no. We will not let, that, let the girls who they are in the camera speak with the customer. Because this is how we can control them so they will not leave controlling. I mean, it's a great seminar. If you are a person who is interested to be a pimp, I guess this is the best seminar for you. And trust me, a lot of people, they will join what is called pimp seminar because a human being become a piece of shit. If a piece of shit is teaching you how to be successful, how shitty you are. When life and our existence is about how to buy a car, an expensive car, not about how to live as a human. Who you are? What are you? What do you want? A pimp is going to teach you how to be successful in life and he is telling you, you should lie, you should defraud, you should do this, you should do that, you should F them, you should control them, you should brainwash them, you should fool them and make them believe that without you they are nothing, otherwise they will go and make money by their own. I made a post in Patreon about an article and I hope you all took that article and shared with your family, especially if you have a young female. This article here says, Andrew Tate arrest Romanian police, get a, 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 a cite the lover boy tactic. What is the lover boy tactic, which is a, speaking about here in the article? This is Radio Free Europe. The lover boy is, they go and they find women, young women, they are very beautiful because this is what the business need. They don't want a woman, she is not attractive. Actually, he spoke about that in the video too. When you pick up the girl, you don't pick up a girl, you pick up the most attractive girl. So you go and you fool those girls and you act as if you are in love with them. You are the boyfriend they are looking for. You shower them with gifts. And here they will tell you how even they contact girls overseas. Overseas, this is not just local. They make the women fly from her country, as an example, Romania, or even Asia. There's Asian women involved in this, in this, uh, in this uh, uh, human trafficking. So they fool those women, they promise them a job. Like come and work in a chocolate factory. We have a job for you. A guy, he speak to you, he is like, oh, I like you, but you know what, how we can meet? I mean, you are far away. We know what, I can find you a job. Oh, I don't have money to come. I can find you a job, just come here. And the second she arrive, they take from her her passport and they tell her the only job we found you is this. And they force her into prostitution. When this girl, she never been a prostitute all her life. Do you see how they are corrupting the society? So they bring you from overseas. And now you think there is a, a lover waiting for you. A decent man. He want to marry you. He is in love with you. He's crazy about you. But this guy, he have tons of women like you. If you read this article, you will see how evil this dark underground world is. And then you will understand that those rich ones who they are doing such a business, they are rich because they are evil, not because they are making a good income from good work. Read, read the article and read how filthy they are. They bring you from overseas, they promise you a job, you come to, their, to the country they are in, and then they take your passport, and then they will tell you, we spent too much money on you, you have to pay us back. 
We will not let you go and they will use a threat. And then the only solution, go to this room, take off your clothes and do some games for us. In the video of this uh, attorney, there's a part of the video where this guy, he said, Andrew Tate, he said uh, about being in Romania. He said, do you think if I walk in the jail in Romania and I have a pile of money like this, and he is like measuring the money in his hand size, how you think I will be? What will happen to me? This guy, he is digging his grave. Because now the judge, the judge, the police, the prosecutors, everybody, this guy, he said he will bribe them before even long before he get arrested. If I go inside the court and I have a pile in, of money like this in my hands, what do you think will happen to me in the court in such a corrupt country? Go watch the video. This guy, he think he is smart, but in fact, those videos are going to be like nails in his coffin. You know, when somebody, he think he is so smart, and now because now he is getting rich, so he think he is really successful, and he, he, he think of himself highly that I am untouchable, I have a lot of money, I can hire, hire lawyers, I can, I can, I can. And he starts revealing his dark side from inside and he's proud about it because he thinks he is untouchable. And then he fell like a big cow. And what we discovered just yesterday that the case he is in now not only involve this, you know, actually in the article there, they said they found that every month there's 30 new victims since August alone. Since August again uh, alone, there is 30 new victims. Read carefully with me. So the number is, is, is going crazy. While number have fallen since, Romania established national agency about trafficking in the, in the people authority. It's registered around 30 new victims each month. This is the registered one. Here it says, they are talking about the success of the, the, the Romanian, supposedly, you know, but obviously there is no success in that. Uh, and this guy, he have a lot more women to report him. Somebody saying you lost, but you don't want to admit that you lost. And now you are going to continue with these stories, deceive your listener. Well, uh, Mario, I don't know, your name is Mario. Maybe you are a pimp like him. And this is why you are upset. What the stories? The guy is in jail. He himself in his videos, if you watch his video, he said he's doing fraud. You know what fraud is? Fraud is to hire somebody to work for you and lying to him about what he will get. This is number one fraud. You know what fraud is? Fraud is using relationship to make sex business under the false promise. This alone is a crime. And this guy, he speak in his video, says, I do that. Do you know what fraud is? To get paid and lie to the girl that you are going to pay her 50%. And when she received the money, she get 30%. If she make $10,000, he give her only 3,000. She say, what about the 50%? He say, are you going to pay tax? I am the one who pay tax. And then he give her a dummy form. So she will sign to think that he is going to give money for tax. And you are telling me, this is what he said. 
So you are a stupid idiot. You have no dignity. And obviously, maybe you are a person, you grow up in a bar. Maybe you don't mind that somebody take your sister and force her to work in the camera business. Maybe your wife already working in the camera business. So you don't want to feel guilty for being a pimp like him. We are lost. We are winners, my friend. When a trash like this, he go out of us, we are winners. You never heard of water filter? What water filter is? We filter garbage. We have a filter. We have a freedom. Freedom is the best filter. When somebody, one of us, he is evil, the filter take him. And that filter is Islam. Islam is the filter. The bad ones, they end in the sink. All those evidence, including his videos, and actually for me, I will not believe in anything more than his videos. Let me show you his website post. Hold on. I don't know which website it is, but I found this. This is advertising about his seminar made by Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is saying, who is he? Who I am? <clears throat> who I am, my friend? Who I am? I mean, who can explain himself better than the one who is telling you who is he is? My name is Andrew Tate. I am retired for X world champion kickboxer who now multi-millionaire and I am most complaint person in the entire planet this guy worship himself to teach you about male female interactions how did I become rich webcam this is this is a seminar this is a like so you register and even, even now you have to pay the money now you are, you know, you are his fan. You have to pay him money so he can share with you the secret how he became rich. And then he says, this is his advertising for the seminar. I have been running a webcam studio for nearly a decade, 10 years. I had, I have had over 70 girls work for me. And my business model is different than 99% of webcam studio owners. Over 50% of my employees were actually my girlfriends. <laughs> this is him speaking. This guy, this is what the human trafficking is. You bring a girl, you fool her, you text her, you date her, and then you say to her, I want to marry you, I love you, and then you make her have a tattoo, and actually there's a picture of those girls making her have a tattoo. And he is proud about it. He took pictures of those who have tattoo in their hands, in their chest, in their ass, in their vagina, and rotate. He's proud about it. 50%, my friend, he have, he have, this guy, he just said, 50% of the 75 girls are promised to be his future women. He dated them. In another video, he says, he when he came to Romania, he came from, uh, from England, he was broke. He called six different girlfriends. Go watch the video. And he said, each one of them, she do not know that I am, she think I am the only guy in her life. This is his video. And then he say, look what he say. I mean, this guy is bragging about his fraud. 50% of my employees were actually my girlfriends. And then he continues saying, at the time and of all my girlfriend, none were in the adult entertainment industry before they met me. Do you see it? This is his words.
So this guy, he manipulated those women. He promised them to be their lover. And then he put them into reality check. If you don't work in the web camera, I will dump you. He controlled them. And he explained to you in his so-called seminar how to control a woman. And he said, and I quote in him here, women are stupid. Go watch the video. Women are stupid. And this is what you should do with them. You need to convince them that without you, you are, they are nothing. You need to convince them that they cannot make a living without you. You need to convince them that you are the one who gives them protection and life and everything. So this evil monster, he bring decent girls from their families. They are not prostitutes. They are not. Listen carefully. There's a huge difference. If a girl already, she is a prostitute, well, she just joined a different, you know, I mean, different form of business. I mean, it's the same kind, the, the same uh, uh, type of business, but different format. You know, she was working in the street, now she's working in the camera. So, okay, she was a prostitute, and now she is a prostitute. Nothing changed. No. They are not, and they never been, in the prostitution business. I copy a different page, but I cut the page because there are some like pictures of naked women and he is taking pictures of their tattoo, uh, you know, putting in the tattoo his name. What I did learn from my job, this is, this is the guy resume, he is like telling you why you should join his seminar. First thing, give four girls all happy is hard work. See, it's what the Quran says. Quran says you can have four women in the same time. And the Quran says you cannot make them all happy. Listen carefully. And leave you, and leave you with very little time. So it's time to consume him to have more many, many girlfriends. So you you learn how to streamline getting in you good girlfriends. Look, look, he have four girlfriends. And now you need to learn how to get new four girlfriends. It, it's a non-stop process because those soon they will discover that he is a fraud and they will leave. He can use them for a month, two months, six months, one year, and then they will notice that he is just fooling them and they will leave and they will have enough money to leave. So we have... To continue looking for a new girlfriend and look at this Abdul. MashaAllah, we are growing in Europe. You are growing nowhere. Did you see what happened in Saudi Arabia? Did you see what happened in the in Iran? Just get out of here. You are just boring. I mean, at least say something serious. We are growing in Europe. We are growing. You are growing nowhere. Did you see in Saudi Arabia women taking hijab? Did you see the music and the dancing and the night club in Saudi Arabia? Where are you growing? You're growing nowhere. Islam does not exist no more. Islam is dead. If Saudi Arabia is not Islamic no more, there is no Islam left. This is where the head of Satan located in Saudi Arabia. And Satan in Saudi Arabia is dying. Islam is a failure. Women, they took their hijab. Women, they are going out. Women, they don't care. Women, now they are, they don't care. Go and say, go and see how many women they give hugs to the Christian. Uh, what is his name? Ronaldo, Cristiano, or his name, that's from Portugal. You know, they give him hugs, you know, and, and Habibi, and Habibi, you know, everybody. Saudi Arabia, what's Saudi Arabia? Islam is gone, my friend, bye-bye. Which country is a practice in Islamic law? The only country is a practice in some of it is Taliban. The rest of you, all of you are gone. I remember Islam is a religion with Sharia, which means if there's no Sharia, there's no religion. Not like Christianity. So here, we learned, okay, and now getting new girlfriends. All women are not created equal. That's deep. Guys, isn't it time for wisdom, to be honest? Isn't it, this is the time we are desperate for wisdom? All women 
are not created equal. Man. Okay. Tate, Tutu, Titi. This is how I come up with what is now PhD system. This guy is giving you a PhD system in being a pimp. Hey, the fan of Andrew Tate, I think you have your ethic is so good. And I think you deserve at least from the University of Pimp Andrew Tate a PhD. My friend, don't you see I'm busy? You keep saying to me, can I call you? Can I call you? Can I call you? Do you have a diarrhea? I mean, what's wrong with people? Don't you see I have a topic? Are you a kid holding the pant of your dad? Can I call you? Can I call you? Dad, I want to get a candy. And the guy, his father is talking to somebody. Get out of here. From the time I came and I start, I see your tech. Can I call you? Can I call you? Go support and retake, my friend. People have a half a brain. No wonder this guy, he can fool millions of people. They have a brain of a mosquito. Don't you see the guy is talking? He is not taking calls. Can I call you? Can I call you on Skype? This I want to call you on Skype. I want to call you. I want to call you. Okay. Are you a growing man or you're a potato? Are you Alidawa? Brothers and sisters, if somebody brought you an orange and he told you this is a, this is a lemon, are you going to believe him? If it tastes like a lemon, if it looked like a lemon, it walked like a lemon, it talked like a lemon, obviously it is not a lemon, it's a watermelon. Mental. And they don't pause the text once, like one time, two time, three time, five time, seven time, eight time, twenty time. I mean, this guy, he never give up, my friend. Is that how you play the lotto? No wonder you are always poor. Because you spend your money in gambling and then he says I give and this is not what now is a PhD system and then he said oh boy learn the most efficient look 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 this is now we are getting closer to global warming the most efficient way to meet girls Hey, the lonely you, the one who cannot, he do not know how to talk to people. You know, just under Tate will teach you how to meet girls. He's successful, obviously. And now he's, by the way, he's meeting girls right now in jail, hmm? in the shower, full of men. So the most time efficient way to meet girls is to get them through dating process. They see the fraud? Th this is a crime, by the way. All of this will be used against him. This guy is doing a human trafficking, fraud, tax fraud, employment fraud, all kind of a fraud. And he's bragging about it and he has given you a seminar. So the most efficient way to meet girls, to get them through dating process, get them in bed. This is step number two. Don't forget the step number two, please. So here, this is a step number one. Let us be sure here that you are understanding because most of you are slow. So this is a step number one. Step number two, get them in bed. Don't forget that part. Number two. Huh? Oh, don't tell me you have no, you have no bed. Okay, get them in the elevator. Okay, do not elevator. Okay, get them in the bathroom. You don't have a bathroom. Okay, go to Andre Tate. His house is open for everybody. He do charity. He do charity. I saw a guy saying Andre Tate, he do a lot of charities. Obviously. Man. He been released? Oh, yeah. I think, you know what? I saw him too with the Prophet Muhammad flying with the donkey. I saw him released. I saw the interview. You are a donkey. <laughs>
this interview, you idiot, it was a few months ago when they arrested him first time and they released him. This is new, this is an old interview. You are let, 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 let me call Zach and I to answer you. Brother Fitter, first of all, our brother Edmonton is not arrested. And he was released. Because after they captured him, they found that he's innocent. It's true. They found a lot of women doing business with camera with him. But those cameras are not his cameras. They are both from Amazon. Therefore, those are Amazon camera. Uh, brother, but uh, he is the one he's hiring them. He's the one who rented the house. He is the one who paid them the money. He is the one who's forcing them to do it. Exactly. But that will not make him a compliment of the crime. Because simply, it's not against their will. Uh oh, okay. This is exactly in the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 33. It says, For not your girls into your sin. And if you force them, Allah is merciful. Zuzu? So he, are you saying he is doing prostitution? Exactly. He is doing halal prostitution. In the West, this is not halal. But here it's halal. And then you get that, I get you, but said. Oh, okay. N now I, I get the idea. So step number two, we get them into the bed. Test if they are good. Guys, are you getting the knowledge of the university and the PhD? Are you, are you getting, you have, because you want to put them in the business. You are a pimp, remember. What if they are not good in bed? That means the customer will not come back. Hello. This is a guy, millions of people, listen to him. This is the one you listen to him, you idiot, you scumbags. This is the man who will teach you how to live, how to be rich. A Muslim saying, Ya Ammar, he is saying, why you care for Andrew Tate? He make money what he do. My friend, I have here a target. Number one is to expose Islam. And as you know, you are a Muslim. And here I'm here to warn people about how Islam turn your head to be evil. This is why this guy, he like Islam because Islam allow him to do all those things. Isn't it your prophet? He said you can lie to your wife. Isn't it your prophet? He says a man, she can lie to her husband. That the wife, she can lie to her husband. This is your religion, lying, deceiving, fraud. So now here I am doing education. I don't care for him. You get me wrong. I care for everybody. I care for the decent women who they can be misled by him. And you are saying to me, because you are a Muslim, you don't care because simply you support evil and you find this guy in total agreement with your religion. Is it true, Mr. Ammar, that in Islam you can run a pimp business? I challenge you to say no. Open the book of Musnad Ahmad or Muwatta Malik and read the treasure of Islam about making slave girls, making you money from prostitution. Open the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 33. Where it says, even if you force them to do prostitution, you know, it's okay. Allah is all merciful. There's no penalty. There's no punishment. Actually, it's encouraged. Isn't it your prophet? He even promised you women who will be taken from hellfire because they are prostitute and he will give them to you. Is that correct, guys? Is it Muhammad? He said that Allah will take a special women. You see, you see, actually, this is in total agreement with uh, Andrew, T Andrew Tate. I'm sure he do not know that about about Islam. That this is agree totally with Muhammad. Listen, he said that you take them into bed. Why? To be sure they are good. Good in what? Good in bed, good in sex. Good in sex. Muhammad in the hadith says that those women who Allah will take them from hellfire, 
they have a specific specific qualification they have desirable front passages read with me carefully Muhammad said there's no one whom Allah will admit into paradise but Allah will marry him uh, to 72 wives okay who are they those so what what exactly where are the women coming from two from Horis and 70 from the inheritance from people of hell who are they those 70 coming from hell why what is special about them? Read carefully. All of whom will have desirable front passages. And he will have a male member that will never become flaccid, i.e. soft and limp. Do you see it? So Allah, he is in total agreement with Andrew uh, Tate. You need to be sure that those girls are good in the in the sex business, in the effing business. How you do that? You take them to bed, you try them to see if they are good or not. And then Allah will take those girls who they are used by Andrew Tate and he will send them, ship them to the Muslims in heaven. Because what is their qualification? They are so attractive. They have desirable front passages. He did not mention their ass, by the way. Just notice, take a note. He mentioned their breast and their vagina. And your 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 pimp uh, 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 penis will not go limp. And this is why we see Islam and and Tate, They are in total agreement. Total agreement. This is the same filthy language this guy is speaking of. This is the same language Allah and Muhammad is speaking of. Ask yourself, what kind of a prophet he say this? And what kind of religion? And what the purpose of it? Promising me hookers, they will be taken out of heaven so I can if them in my heaven. And now we discover that if you are a hooker, you have a bigger chance to be in heaven of Allah. Why? Because all, all what it takes, you have desirable front passages and you are good in bed. And then Allah will take you from hell and he will send you to Abdul from Qatar. Don't you want to be an Abdul with Qatar or Mimi Hijab or Ali Dawa? Don't mention my name, okay? Uh, uh, Ali, uh, what happened to your voice? Why you don't talk like a man? First of all, this is how my voice is. If you want to hear the voice of a man, listen to my wife. Oh, okay. I got you. And then you ask me why I am interested. We are here to bust the liars and the hypocrite and the deceivers who they need to be punished for their crimes. Those girls who they've been misled, tortured, been lied to, they are human beings. They have families, they have feeling, they have emotion. You destroy them. And then this filthy, he continue. And uh, I learned the most efficient way to meet a girl is to get them through a dating process. By the way, Ali Dawa, he have a dating uh, website. He's posting his uh, his video defending Ali Dawa, uh, um, Andrew Tate. Maybe this is what he's talking about. Get them to bed. Taste of the uh, if they are good girls or not, and begin the process of them failing deeper and deeper into love. Guys, did you do you, do you are you reading with me? Are you reading with me? Failing deeper and deeper in love, into love. So, so in this guy, this is a fraudulent, evil person, satanic man. He is fooling those girls, grabbing them from everywhere, internet, coffee shop, dating the most attractive and then try them in bed and now as long as they are good in bed they pass this uh, this stage now we make them fail into love so he will fool them make them believe that he loved them and you know when a woman she love you 
she listen to you. That's what he's trying to say to you. This is why making her believe that she loves you or you love her, you will be in control. And this is what actually he said in the video of this lawyer. You can watch it. You should watch that lawyer. I, I, I will post the link for you. You need always to control those women, he said. And not only that, he did not even mention the love. He said, if you want to control a woman, you need to F her. Imagine how trashy, how filthy, how disgusting. I mean, what kind of a dog language and what kind of people listen to him? Listen, we don't want to judge this person alone. All those who support him, they are the same quality. The same quality. Listen carefully. It's not only him is bad. It's every single one who like him. Because they are the same kind. They are the same quality. They have the same interest. They have the same what they call good. They call it good, but in fact they are evil. Aziz Ali he is saying, what is the reward in Christianity in heaven? I don't know Aziz. I think the biggest reward for me in heaven that I will not see you there. Because to be honest with you, I cannot live around the stupid people. That will not be heaven for sure. I mean, heaven and full of stupid ones like you who believe that God will give them a penis which is endless. And you, Ali, is five foot tall, yet your penis is endless. How you can walk with it, Ali? And after you get the penis of endless penis, are you going to change your name from Ali to penisy? Endlessy? So Ali is, he's a thinker. They are philosophers. Muslims are philosophers by birth. What you can say? Hmm. What you will get in heaven. Hmm. Look what we will get in heaven, brother. English penis. My friend, before you go to heaven, remember, shaitan is taking hair from your anus every day. That alone make you molested for eternity. I mean, what kind of religion says that this God, he allows shaitan to play with your anus every day at least five times? Are you proud? Hey, by the way, Ali, as long as you are a thinker, what about you think about buying a slow motion camera and record the shaitan taking hair from your anus? Trust me, that will be the hit online, will go viral. Shaitan taking hair from the anus of Ali Dawa. Brothers and sisters, Shaitan, the Prophet of Allah, he said, Shaitan, when you are praying because he want to disturb your prayer, he come to you and he will straight the hair and he will not stop until he make you fart and he make you smell it and hear it. And before you do that, brother, don't stop the prayer until you smell it. The advice of the Prophet Muhammad. Thinker. They are nation of thinking. I mean, who can think better than Muslims? You tell me. Desirable of front thinking, and now this guy Ali <sighs> Allah will give me women with desirable front. Maybe it's a weak hadith, exactly. Islam is weak, Muhammad is weak, his penis is weak. Isn't it your prophet? He says, I was the most weak person between all mankind until I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I got the power of 40. I mean, even you have a God. He cannot make the private part of Muhammad work except by giving medicine. I thought Allah, he can say B is going to be God sending a dish with the angels. By the way, was it hot when receive it or like, you know, it was or the because according to the Quran, it take 1000 year for the angels just to come down. So how the guy Muhammad yesterday, he invoked Allah because his, his penis is not working. And then the second day, Allah is sending him a dish of shish kebab. I thought it's going to take 1,000 years just to come down. Mm. The lies of Muhammad cannot survive much like his penis. So failing deeper and deeper into love, that is my skill. <sighs> Guys, this guy, 
he should come to USA. I pray that they will bring him to USA. Because in USA, they treat such a people, such kind of people in a very, very horrible way. You see, in Europe, they don't really take... I mean, this guy, he was accused in 2015 of rape, and they have tons of evidence. And the stupid British police, which is not really a police, as a bunch of Taliban, you know, they are just idiots. You know, any crime, they will let you go. I mean, they, okay, they make a report and they let you go. They let you go. Somebody attacked the house of somebody, they make a report. Okay, they, 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 okay, nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. The police in England, they got tons of evidence that he raped women in England, 2015. The police ignore all the evidence, and I believe strongly he bribed them, and they let him go. And now, the royal, whatever CP, whatever they call it, police, they open the investigation because more evidence are coming. But the fact there's no more evidence, it's the same. It's the same. Those girls, they have many interviews with the media speaking about how the police took his side by ignoring all the evidence they supported. And now they have a new wave of investigation coming from England. Now, I hope that some of those girls who they are used by this man, abused or kidnapped, whatever it is, they are American. Because you know what? In America, you all know there's no games here. In America, there's no games. You will treat it like a dog, especially if you are a sexual abuser. Even if you go from jail. I will tell you something about beautiful about America. If a guy, he is a billionaire. And he is a registered as sex offender. Not like this guy. This guy way more than sex offender. The neighbors, they can kick him out, out of his property. Legally. The government, they have to send a letter to every house in that area that the sex offend, offender, etc. name, person, he just moved to your neighborhood. Watch him. I'm serious. This is what they do in USA. And the neighbors and the citizen in that area, they have the power to sign a complaint and they will remove you even if you bought the house. They will kick you out. In this country, there's a lot of good things. How about Epstein? Will he end in jail even if he was protected by presidents? I mean, how more, how more protection he have? He end in jail like a dog. And later he was killed like a dog. And I know you will tell me that somebody protected him. We understand, but he end in jail. At the end, he go as a dog. And my friend, just to make you happy, there's a lot of people who they are protected. We know. But one day, they will fail like a dog. This guy, he moved to Romania. He said, this is his word, I moved to Romania because it's way easier to avoid rape charges. So we knew that always those rich people, they get away with things, but they will, time will come, time will come, and they will fail like a rat from a high tree. My friend, you keep repeating the same thing. Isn't it the guy is dead? And then you say he's a group. Uh, like, so what, are you, what do you want to do? I'm reporting something, it's a fact about American, that if you are a homo, if you are a, uh, like a sexual offender, they will tell the neighbors, they can kick you out. You will be, you will be, if, if, like, they will be following you wherever you go. And you keep saying, what about the Stein group? What about this guy? He can, what about Monica Lewinsky? What about uh, Susu Dudu? What about this, this guy? He will bring me all the drama of his country now. And I will not be surprised if he blamed me. Or maybe he will blame the Jews. We know that there is people, they are protected. This is not the topic. The topic is in this country, there's a law. And if they, 
The protection is left away from you because you are exposed by the media. Why this guy isn't protected no more? Epstein, because he is exposed. Nobody can protect him after that. The second you are exposed, everybody will wash his hand from you, even a president. So stop being stupid. What my uncle? What about my neighbor? What about my dog? I saw my dog going after a female dog and he did jump on her, not according to her will. She was not happy. I saw him with my eyes and the police did not arrest him. I called the police. I told them my dog, he jumped over a female dog of the neighbor. Where is the police? Where is the government? Is my dog protected? Take it easy, man. Even inside jail, if you are a child molester, the criminal themselves, they will deal with you. Criminal themselves, they will not accept you between them. And this is my skill. Man, this man, he have his skills. Do you see the skills? The skills is to fool women. And actually, this should be a great example for women who they believe everybody. This is why, you know, for me, I don't like this boyfriend, girlfriend thing, you know? Because if a man really like you and he love you, he marry you. You know, let us say you don't want to be religious. You, you know, you don't want to follow the Bible. Maybe you are an atheist. Uh, maybe you are. But the the boyfriend, girlfriend, it's mean of nothing. Nothing, nothing. It's just a guy he's sleeping with you in the bed. If he really love you, he will marry you. And they are not too much different from this guy. All their purpose of the relationship is to sleep with you. Maybe you will find one of ten, he is decent, and he is trying, okay, you know, this is how he thinks life is, and he will marry you at the end. But the majority, they will not. But things can go farther than just a boyfriend who is trying to just to have some sexual joy with a compa companion. It can be someone like Andrew Tate who is trying to use you and abuse you. And he is using his skills to make you feel failing deeper and deeper into love. So look, this guy is not just being a boyfriend. He is fooling you and making you believe that he loves you. And now you will be in love in return. And he will make you think that you are the only woman in his life. And then you will be under his control to do whatever he wish. And this is how Andrew Tate, he advertised for his seminar, which I found by the post by somebody, a woman in, in Twitter. And then he says, this is from his website, yeah. This is my skill, that is my skill, to extremely efficiently get women in love with me that's it and no one else and on the internet is teaching you this none this guy is bragging about his fraud For me, actually, my video here, not only to educate men, for me, my main target is to educate young women. And I hope that you, you, if you are a parent, will not hide those stories from your daughters. They should learn. They should know that there is somebody can do that to them. They are even them from bringing from overseas. Like in that website, I saw the stories. They call a woman, she came from Romania to work in the chocolate factory. When she arrived there, two men, they were waiting for her in the airport. They took her passport immediately. Immediately. There's no introduction. There's no love story. There's no, uh, no, 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 no. But when she came, she was supposedly speaking to one man online and he is, he like her. 
The second she came in the airport, two men waiting for her, they are gang. They put her in the car. They took her passport. You can't go home no more. And same night she arrived, go sleep with this man. Same night. When this poor woman, she thought she is going to meet a man who will offer her a job. He will change her life. She is coming from a poor family. Her mother is sick. She are now she is dreaming. She will send money to her, her her brothers and sisters who they are poor. She will support her family. She will have a better life. And then she end between the teeth of the beast. This is why this is very important. This is why we should talk about it. And this is why you should share with your own daughters. Especially now, you giving phones to kids, which is a stupid to do, by the way. I'm not against the phone with the kid because he can call you in case of emergency. But it is stupid to give the phone to a kid who have full access to the internet. Like TikTok and all the garbage in there. And then you wonder why your kid is being damaged. And wonder you why your, your kid is start acting weird. You are behind the wrong act. It's not the internet because you expose them without teaching them. You see, when I'm going to be exposed, I mean, even when you do physical work, you, there is something called safety. There is safety glasses, there is safety gloves, there is safety shoes. How about when we go in the internet? How we are protecting our children and where is the safety Majored, you are doing. And there is tons and millions of women who they are naive. And those men, they are waiting for those ones. And if you are pretty specifically, you are a major target. Now, did you ask yourself, why those girls who they are doing this business, they are so like so good looking? Because they are the target. They target them. Read what he's saying. You have to choose a good girl. In the video, he says, you don't go and pick up any girl. The most attractive is the one you should get. This is what happened when your kids are not aware and when you, you know, some people, some parents, what they do, they don't, they don't tell their kids about the evil of this earth. They think, they think it's not time, you know? So now your, your daughter, she is 12. Eh, I cannot tell her now. Okay, now 13, eh, still young. 14, eh, you know, she doesn't understand. 15, eh, come on, she is still, still a teenage. 16, and then 16, oops, she ends somewhere. Too late. Literally too late. You need to start teaching your children about the evil of this earth when they are kids, even if they are nine years old. You never heard of a child molester? So if you don't warn them now, when you will warn them out after they are molested? You need to start early, very early, because it's never been early, or it's better than late. If you expose your children, and life is around them, exposing them, you cannot stop that expose. What you would do? You put them in jail? We have internet, we have school, we have... Oh, those predators are all over the place, in every corner. So you have to teach them and you have to protect them. Otherwise, you will have a son, he want to be a pimp, and a daughter who want to be a whore. Or she end as a whore. Because the stupid you did not do any action.
Nano saying, CP, don't forget Christ. He a king. My friend, you see, don't forget Christ. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, you you, you want to lecture people by saying uh, Christ is king? People will not listen. What, what does that mean? Don't forget Christ is a king. What does that mean? Does it change the fact that there's child molesters and there's rapists and there's criminals and there's Andrew Tate and millions like him? Christ is a king. What does that what have to do with our topic? Just be smart. In order to fight ideas, you have to prevent those ideas from coming into the head of the naive ones. Not by saying to them, Christ is king. What does even that mean? You are watching too much movies, my friend. You meet the devil, you put the cross in his face, the devil is run away. You fight the devil by education. That's what the Bible says. Not by saying Christ is king. The Bible says, my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. We have an idiot in the chat. He keeps saying to me, answer my question. But he never gave me the question. You know, this guy, Milo, Milo Han, he reminded me of Abdul. Every day he prayed to Allah to win the lotto. 20 years, 30 years. The angels of Allah, which is Shaitan, they came to Allah. And they said, Allah, come on, make him win the lotto. He said, okay, have patient, have patient. 30 years praying to Allah. Allah, please give me, make me win the lotto. 35 years. Please, Allah, make me win the lotto every day. 40 years. Allah, make me win the lotto. And he never won the lotto. So the angel of Allah, which does not exist, they come to Allah and says, come on, Allah. Like, what's wrong with you? It's true you never answered the prayer of Muhammad. It's true you never answered the prayer of Muslims. But can you answer at least this guy? He's praying for the last 40 years. To, uh, to, you know, to win the lotto. He said, have patient, have patient. So now this guy, he's praying again. Continue praying. 45 years, still he did not win the lotto. 50 years of praying to Allah every day. May Allah please make me win the lotto. And then the, the angels of Allah, they make a revolution. Ali Da'wa, the angel of Allah, Mimi Hijab, all of them, they took their sh shoes and they go inside the house to beat Allah. And then Allah, he says, I swear by Allah, I will make him win. But shouldn't he first buy the lotto? And the stupid you keep saying to me, you keep running away from my question. This is the question. Why Jesus forbid girls if he made guys like girls? That is, evil. what the heck is that? Guys, guys, look at this. Oh, boy. I think this is the F, that's a, this is the side, the, like the side effect of what of uh, camel urine. Look at the question who is dying for me to answer. He Christian Blens, why Jesus forbid girl if he made guys like girl that's evil? What the heck? What does that mean? What you stupid idiot, what does that mean? What forbid girl if he made girl like what, what does that mean? What what do you mean? Are you in hashish? I mean you see guys when a Muslim he said to me uh, uh, like what we will what you will get a reward to be when you go in heaven, your Christian heaven, I said at least I will not see you. So I pray to my Lord, I will not see someone like Maul Horn in heaven. This is all Jewish joke? Yeah. Just to block him, he is a troll. Anyway. <clears throat> Just get lost, man. Just get lost. Next time you come here, bring your parents with you. As you see, we have Andrew Tate here. He will recruit you to be a, a, a whore. Okay? 
we will have Andrew Tate in any minute. He will call us from jail in Romania. Actually, hold on. I'm receiving a call. Terenin, terenin. Terenin, terenin. This is why the phone look sound like this because in Romania the phone like this, you know, terenin, terenin. Terenin, terenin. Terenin, terenin. Terenin, terenin. Terenin, terenin. Yeah, in, in Romania, the phone, you know, like you go for long, you know. Yeah, if you answer them right away, they will think you are like in a rush to talk to them. So you have to be like spoil yourself, make them call more and ring more. Like, terenin, terenin. Guys, come tomorrow. I will, get, I will let them wait like to tomorrow. Hello? Yes? This is the secretary of Andrew Tate, the one with big balloons. Wow. Okay, now I need, I, I can tell because your voice is being squeezed too much. Oh, you have a plastic surgery. Oh, okay. Who paid for it? Andrew Tate? Oh, it's a charity from Andrew Tate. Okay. So he said he will put some Botox in your boobs as a charity. Oh, yeah. Did he put some charity in some other places? Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. But like now he cannot because he's in jail now. I see. I see. All right. Well, uh, so what do you want to say to us about what happened to Andrew Tate? They took his toys. Really? And how he feel? Like what? No way. He feel like you? I mean, like shit? Man. Oh, you are a woman. I know. Okay. But I mean, yeah. Does it make any difference for you? Yeah. You are not here to debate? Oh, okay. So, what, do, what, what you are calling us? What do you want to tell us? They took his toys. And what about you? Aren't you his toy too? Oh, no, you get paid for it. Oh, okay. You are not his toy. Yeah. You you recruit for him, right? So, you full, you used to be a police officer, I heard. Ah, uh, okay. And now you are being a good uh, citizen of Romania. Okay. Did you convert to Islam or not? Thinking about it. Perfect, perfect. I think this is a perfect place for you. May Allah bless your boobs and make you the biggest booby in the world. Take care. What the heck? Anyway, life can be disgusting if we are surrounded by disgusting people. But always there's good ones they can see the truth and the truth will set you free and if you are a conservative don't make such a fool fool you so he speak against the feminine movement and homosexuality but look how evil he is so you know some stupid people they think because he say things like it looked like he is a conservative person this this is the this is the truth he fool you by being oh i am against the walk uh, the, you know, culture, I'm against, but the fact he is the walk itself. He's a pimp. The same people he opposed them, they are pushing free sex everywhere. This is what he want. This is how he make money. The same people who oppose them, they are teaching you to go and to be a zero ethic. This is what he want. So they might speak against each other, but in reality, they are both a same coin. Are we listening? Those liberals who they are attacking Andrew Tate, and Andrew Tate, they believe in the same thing. But they say their words in different way. Both, they want to push, push sexual culture in the, between the society. Sex can have, ch uh, 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 children can have sex. We teach them how to put your finger in your anus, how to be a homosexual, how to change your gender. This guy, he say, no, this is wrong. But what do you do? He do exactly what they say. He take girls who they never been a prostitute. He fooled them. He lied to them. He make them believe that they are in love with him and he's in love with them and he's the only guy just to make money. He used them, abused them and he teach you you can beat them and you can... Everything, it's the same. It's the same. Because when you push that a man, he can have sex with a child, well, obviously the child is abused by the man. Who's going to be abused who? The weak or the strong? 
So both of them, they teach the same thing, but they speak different languages. And then the foolish one of us, who he think this guy is being conservative. In fact, he is anti-Bible, he is anti-God, he is anti-ethic, he is anti-anything is good, and he cannot claim to be any even close to conservative. Is it conservative to open a webcam business? So ask yourself how a foolish you think that he is conservative. Just because he say he support Trump, he became conservative. That's the most stupid thing ever I heard. Trump himself is not conservative. Anyway, we have to be careful and I hope people will learn. No Christian in the planet can answer me. Okay, Mohsen, if I open my my uh, if I open my sky for you, would you like to call me, Mohsen? Mohsen, Mohsen, as long no Christian in the world can answer you. If I open my sky for you, would you like to call me? Are you there? Mohsen? Just to show how stupid you are, like your prophet. No Christian in the planet can answer me. If Jesus is God, I have a simple request. Request. Why cannot any of you show me saying his God in his own language? What if I show you what you would do? I have a challenge for you. I will show you Jesus saying God in his own language. And the one request, you open your camera and you do the monkey dance as a penalty. Are you willing to do it? Challenge between me and you. And if I could not, I would do the monkey dance. Can we do it? I'm waiting. And do you even speak his language? So if I show you now in his language, do you understand the language? You don't even understand the language of your God. Allah knows best what he meant. I mean, imagine those people. Just answer the question, you stupid idiot. I answered the question. I said to you, call me and challenge me live on air and open your camera so everybody will die laughing at you. Are you willing to do it or not? Coward. He answer me. But the name question, no Christian in the world. He can answer me. Where well, Jesus in his language says that. <laughs> All over the Bible, you idiot. We love at you, Abdul. The most the most cute Abdul ever, you know? Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. This is Jesus. This is Matthew 22. Betito, betito. And this is from the Aramaic language, but we will show it to you in English. What Jesus said? Jesus said, I am the living God. The God of Abraham. Hmm? Have you not read? What was spoken to you by God? And then Jesus is talking about who? Let us see what he's talking about who. Who is the living God? Who is God? Jesus said to them, to the Pharisees, they were assembled, assembled. Yeshua spoke to them. And he said, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? They were saying to him, he is the son of David. He said to them, How did David by his spirit call him the Lord Jehovah? For he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. 
Where is Jesus says I'm God? I challenge you in his language. <laughs> now, are you willing to call me and do the monkey dance? Are you? This is Jesus telling them how he is the son of David if he is the God of David. And who is talking the Messiah? Talking about who? About the Messiah. Where is Jesus says that? Okay. I challenge you. I challenge you. Okay. And now what you will do? I advise you to join the University of Andrew Tate and work as a webcam girl, even if you are a boy. He will give you a job. Hmm. You are quoting English? No, I'm not quoting English, but because you don't speak Aramaic anyway. But this is the Aramaic, you idiot. This is the Aramaic Bible. Shita Holy Bible translated. This is from the Aramaic. So if I show you in the Aramaic now, do you understand? <laughs> Listen, you prove my point. You prove my point. <laughs> oh boy. Betito, 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 betito. And by the way, listen, the funny is you are saying to me his own language. What is the language of Jesus? Sabil Ahmad, he said Aramaic, correct? The Quran says it is a Greek. The stupid Allah, he said that the Injil is the book of Jesus, but Injil is a Greek word. So according to your God, who Jesus sent only to the Jews, but he spoke to the Jews in the Greek language, look like when Jesus, he taught his, uh, uh, his teaching, he was speaking to the Greek people in Thessaloniki. Right? He was living in Thessaloniki, brother. Crazy people. Yeah, get out of here. You are not a man. You are just a kid. You can't even show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. You never have it and you will never have it. And the word Tawheed means unification. So be my witness, people. He did not show me in the reserve. Okay. What about I open right now the same chapter in the Aramaic? Do you understand? I can open it. I can open John 17 in Aramaic. Hey, it sends you. Can you show me what Jesus says? Okay, I will go right now and I will look for the Aramaic language and I will put it for you. Hmm, give me a second. Be my witness, everybody. Everybody, my, my witness. Okay. <laughs> and now if I show you any page in the Aramaic Bible, are you going to be able to read and you will know what I'm talking about? No. You are illiterate like your prophet, aren't you? Oh boy. Uh, anyway, we are just resting our time. We can open the Aramaic. Uh, let us go. Even though you are not worth it. But just to show everybody how stupid you are. And when Muslim they make a challenge for the Christian, you need to know we laugh at your challenge. A follower of a child molester is challenging us about who is Jesus. Why? And notice here that when we debate with Muslims, we debate about if Jesus is God or not. But when we debate about Muhammad, we debate if Muhammad is more filthy than Andrew Tate or not. We don't even debate about him being God, for he is so low, very low. Extremely low. <coughs> and this is why we cannot even compare, you know, how in the world the Muslim is asking if Jesus proved to me Jesus God. This is how good he is. This is the good Jesus. And Muhammad is not even qualified to be not even he qualified to be a pimp. He's a pimp. But we cannot discuss if he's a prophet because everything he do is against the value of a good man. Very simple man. Not even to say a good man. Normal man. This guy is full of sin. He is a, a, a walking living, walking machine of sin. Even the Quran says, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. Allah himself, he cannot. He 
He don't know what to do. He's confused. Have you ever heard of a God says me, Allah forgive your sin? Allah making a prayer, and the Muslim they say Allah is a one God, and yet Allah is making a prayer, asking the other Allah, may Allah forgive your sin, chapter 48, verse number 2. May Allah. This is telling you how bad Muhammad is. And remember, the one who made this verse is Muhammad himself. Right? The one who made this verse himself is Muhammad. So even Muhammad himself, when he wrote this verse, he could not claim that he is, his sin is forgiven. This is how bad it is. May Allah forgive your sin. And here you ask yourself, Allah is making a wish to who? To different Allah? This is why we laugh at Islam. Every verse in the Quran is a joke. Every verse in the Quran is a joke. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you longer. I, I hope you will download my video, share it. And uh, uh, please, I have a request for you. So you can tell your, your, your daughters, your young ones, your boys, your daughters, because everybody is under the influence, but especially girls. Please teach them. Please tell them what this word is bringing to us. And look here, you will see scumbags are defending this guy. Look at this guy. His name is Short Daddy. He says, I don't see where he's sex trafficking anyone. He had give girlfriends and put them into the game. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see the trash people? He don't see it. Yeah, where? Where are the sex trafficking? Those are just girlfriends. He put them into the game. It's a game, brother. Holding women against their will, jail them in their rooms, kidnapping them from their family, lying to them to come and date a, a lover, and then he take them from the airport right away to bedroom, and then he sleep with them to see if they are good or not, and right away he tell them, if you want to stay here, you have to go and web camera, and if she try to leave, he will use intimidation and threat, he didn't see it. He's just a girlfriend. He put them into the game. So this guy, short daddy, if Andrew Tate, he got his sister or maybe his wife and he put her in the game, it's okay. Nothing wrong. Then, I mean, you will see many people really uh, defending this guy. Look at this guy, Eric. He says, but all his girlfriend comply and apparently get rich like him. They wire part of a uh, uh, weird part of his, his thinking. He can re, uh, teach others, other men to somehow the, to the same. How do that work? Would they also have multiple girlfriend and multiple? So those guys are just worrying. It's, it's okay to have a girlfriend if a girlfriend or not. Not lying, not the fraud, not deceiving, not uh, uh, misogynic language, not not uh, the, the taking women against their will, not fooling them, bringing them from different country, and then we take their passport and we hold them hostages. And none of that. They, they are worried about. Okay, can I? It's okay. You know, is can so can my man now have multiple? This is the question now. This is about girlfriends, really. This is about multiple girlfriends. This is what the story is. So many men, and this is reality, they dream to have what this guy have. It's true. And they are wishing to be him. This is why he is for them a celebrity. There's a lot of men, they are sick, they are disgusting. They look normal, they act normal in front of you. But the second you read their opinion, you will see the real them. They want to be him. Everyone who is defending this guy is he's a person he want to be and rotate. In fact, they are jealous to be like him. Very disgusting people. You know, and if we justify this, then we justify Oh, you know, like, uh, sorry, uh, uh, child molester. Because child molester, he liked to do that. 
So, okay, that means we are in a society. And this is why the, the liberal uh, 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 culture is dangerous too. Because the liberal t culture is there is no culture. Everybody do as he wish. So how come when this guy, he do as he wish, his evil now is evil, but your evil is not? Do you see how hypocrite the liberals are? So is a homo homosexual is evil for you? No. Okay. Is a child molester is evil for you? No. Is a, 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 a person have multiple girlfriend is evil for you? No. But if you now make them in the camera work, he's evil. Okay. Well, I don't see how that work. They have double standard on what is evil. And if this guy agree with them, by the way, if this guy agree with them, they will support him. If this guy, he support climate change, if he support, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Biden, if he's, they will agree with him, they will, they will go blind on him. For us, we will not go blind on you. We will not go blind on him. Both of you are false. And both of you is the reason for everything is happening. You are teaching our kids how to forget about their ethic. This is why they're shooting everywhere. It's not the guns is the problem. It is the ethic. A snowstorm happened, people looting stores. It's not the snowstorm the problem. It is the ethic. A child molester is getting arrested. Why you arrest him? If you are saying everybody can do as you wish. Oh, this is my child. Oh, so your child, you cannot, nobody can molest him, but a child of somebody else is okay. A teacher in the school, she is teaching kids how to have sex, and it's their right to have sex when they are little kids. You are confusing kids about their gender. You are confusing kids about what they want, what they want to be. You are telling them wrong information. So when you say this guy is misguiding people, aren't you doing the same? Aren't you liberals and Android Tate in bed together? You are. Everything this guy he stand for, you stand for. The difference is both you speak different language. And it sounds like you oppose each other. But in fact, in reality, both of you, you teach the same thing. Zero ethic. Zero ethic. You deny election when you want but the one who deny election, he is a bad, he is a fraud. You go after them, you want to take them to jail. But when you deny the election yourself, it's okay. It is decent. When you deny election, nobody speak against you. Hillary denied. Trump, uh, Obama denied. Uh, uh, Biden, he denied the election. All the election, when they lose, they deny it. But the second... Their opponent denied the election. They call him election denier. BBC, they do the same, you know, like all those Western media. They are in the same, the same garbage. If you say, I deny election and you are not from their side liberal, you are election denier, which means you are weird. They are mentally ill, you know. But if you go right now, check who denied the election. There's tons of videos. Every single liberal denied the election. When Trump, he won, not a single one of them did not deny it. So they are in the same in the same direction, but because this guy, he is evil, but he is not in their side. They are attacking him. You know what I mean? And this is how this guy actually he gained support because many stupid naive ones they think this guy is a conservative, but in fact he's not. He is more liberal than the liberal. He wants your daughter to be prostitute. He wants your daughters to be prostitutes. How that make him conservative? How that make him good for you? He make women may have tattoo in their body. And he posts those tattoo in his page to show how many women they are in love with him. I'm trying to avoid 
some parts of the body, my friend, very hard to do. He's so proud. Look, women, they put my name all over their body, over their butt, over their neck, over their chest, over their hand, over their eggs, over their breast, over their ass. And this is how he promote his business to, 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 to join him. So both of them They are really supporting the same evil. Liberals and Andrew Tate are in the same bed, but they are just speaking two different languages because they are supporting different political agenda. But in reality, both of them, they are the same. Supporting evil, promoting evil, and we end with evil. And then they say, and they claim, that Andrew Tate is the only evil ones, when the fact they are and rotate themselves. You know, when uh, Hunter Biden, which more is important? Why the liberals don't talk about Hunter Biden, prostitution, the same, it's the same business. Sex, money, power, authority, it's the same, all is the same. How come they are not upset of uh, Hunter? I mean, they have a tons of evidence. They have the whole computer. Emails, and now there's nothing. If you are the one investigated by the FBI, trust me, they will find a list of crimes against you in less than 10 hours. But Hunter Biden, there's no crimes. And now there's nothing. You know, one of the smaller crimes of Hunter Biden, he purchased a gun, he purchased a gun, and he put in the application that he never been, never been arrested or never been like, uh, he, have, he have no felony or no crimes before. And that alone will grant you to stay for five years in jail. Forget about everything else. Until now, there's nothing. If I do that, if you do that, you will be in jail in less than a month. So liberals are not better than Andrew Tate. He is filthy, but they cover their filth too. They claim decency, but they are far from decency. Prove me wrong. Arrest those who they are involved in crimes, not only one criminal, the one you don't like. Go after Joe Biden and his involvement with his son and his brother. And if a Trump is involved in crime, put him in jail too. I don't care. Clean the country. Be decent if you have any decency. Hillary Clinton, her husband, Epstein, all those investigations, what happened? The guy, he have nobody helping him? Only him in jail? What about the customers? Bill Clinton was a customer. Many very famous people, they were customers. Why they are not arrested? Have you ever heard of a pimp? He is arrested, but he have no customers. Who they are having sex with the children, young girls. You know, this would remind me of the Jews who go after a woman. She cut, uh, 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 doing uh, uh, like uh, intercourse or... Uh, let's say, uh, illegal relationship. And they want to stone her, but there's no guy. Do you remember the story when Jesus, he came to them, he said, if one of you without sin cast your stone, but where is the male? What is the male in the story? So they cut the female alone? You cut the female having sex with the male or you cut the female having sex with herself? If she is doing fornication, then she, there's a male. Where is the male? They are chasing the women. So those liberals are the same. They close their eyes when they want and they open their eyes when they want. But reality is 
both Andrew Tate and the liberals and the supporters of Biden, they are singing the same song. Both of them, they are against Christianity. Both of them, they believe in violence. Both of them, they promote uh, uh, like sex, open sex in the street, sex everywhere, drugs, uh, open borders, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, f they fight the freedom of speech. They want to mute people. They, both of them, they sing. And I assure you, if this guy, Andrew Tate, he support Biden, all the liberals will go blind on him. The same now they are going blind on him as that he's a Muslim. Every article made by CNN, Fox News, they will say to you everything about him except he converted to Islam. They will tell you even how many cars he have, how many shoes he have, how many girlfriends he have. But they will not tell you that this guy converted to Islam. Why? Somebody saying, let us read this comment. <clears throat> the only reason I converted to Christianity, let us put it on the screen, give me a second. The only reason I converted to Christianity as a Muslim uh, is because of all restriction like it is even a sin to lust uh, in your heart why would God make it so hard if Jesus is God I'm not sure what you mean uh, maybe maybe there's a word missing maybe you meant to say if he is not God I don't know you, you see because the losers the cult leaders they will make it so easy for you. Like say, Alhamdulillah, 100 times your sin is forgiven. With Jesus, you cannot do that. So when the Messiah make it so hard, because it's so hard to go to heaven, it's not that easy. Only cult leaders, they make it easy for you. Very easy. Just say this, say that, you will go to heaven. Say Alhamdulillah 100 times. Touch the black stone, kiss the black stone. Give donation to the mosque. If you give donation to, to church, that will not take you to heaven. If you give a donation to me, that will not take you to heaven. In Christianity, you cannot bribe God. In Islam, you can. Why a desire is a sin? I don't know. I, I'm reading. Uh, the only reason I ask uh, as a Muslim, don't convert to Christianity, is because of all restriction, like it is even sin to lust. Oh, I don't convert to Christianity. We, so, okay, uh, what's what I'm saying? You don't like Christianity because it's not make it easy for you to be a sinner. You like to be a sinner. This is exactly prove the point that if if your God is a God, then why he's encouraging you to be a sinner? Because so what the point of sending messengers? You are a sinner anyway. You are a bad person anyway. So now Allah He says to you, say Alhamdulillah one hundred times. Okay, your sin is forgiven, and now I'm a good. I'm happy. So so Islam did not change anything. Islam keep you as a sinner and not only that give you the, the the permission to be a sinner and give you the 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 encouragement that no problem there's a story of your prophet I know I know guys what he's saying there's a story of your false prophet he said that the person he killed 100 men 100 men, and each time he kill a, hand, a man, Allah says to him, he will be forgiven. 100 men. So now you go and you say, okay, Muhammad said, if I kill even 100 men, my sin is gone. 
Let's say Alhamdulillah. So what do you do? You start killing people. Because your prophet said, even if you kill a hundred men, So Islam encourages you to be a filthy man. According to Islam, Andrew Tate is a good person. According to Jesus, he will go to hell. And we want you to stay as a Muslim because obviously you have a filthy breathe. The devil is inside you. You like sin. That's why Christianity does not satisfy you. Christianity is not good for you. Because what you will do with your sin then? You want to be living in lust. You want to be sleeping around. You want to be cheating. You want to be lying. And Christianity don't allow you. And now you convince yourself that this is must be God when the fact this is must be Satan. Because who is the one promote such a thing? Satan, go kill. Even a hundred men, I don't care. I will, I will forgive you. So you you go, you keep, you know, uh, prostitution, lying, theft, killing, all the crimes in front of you, the hate in front of you. And this is Al-Bukhari and Muslim. I go now, I kill my neighbor, and then I kill the other neighbor, and the other neighbor, and the other neighbor. Oh, I have even 99, even a hundred. Allah is all merciful. <laughs> This is satanic. And this is why you like it, because you are satanic. You claim that this is bad, that cannot be God, but the fact this is what God is about. God, he will not allow bad ones who don't repent to come to heaven. And if you are using the excuse that I will repent after I kill a hundred men, that means your God is asking you to kill more. In Christianity, Bible has no problem Multiple wife, wives, my friend. Well, my friend, that's the stupid of you to say because nowhere in the Bible says but the opposite. God, he said, you shall not multiply your wives. You are stupid, my friend. You are ignorant like your prophet. You do not know how to read your book. You do not need, you do not know how to read our book. And then you come to us, teach us about our book. You know, when uh, uh, when uh, uh, some stories in the Bible about some kings, they have many wives, you will see that God is condemning them for doing that. But if you go to the Termini, uh, Termini uh, 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 chapter 17, you will see that God, he says, he shall not multiply his wives for himself. You shall not do such a thing. And that's what Jesus said, the man will leave his parents and will be one with his wives. That's why in Christianity, we are not allowed to have more than one wife. So the stupid you when you say, the Bible have no problem, then we Christians should have four wives, seven wives, eight wives, like your prophet. You are an idiot. You are literally an idiot. And liar too. <laughs> and not only that, you will notice that Muhammad, he gave himself the permission to have more women than even Muslims. Why? Because he is not a godly man. He gave himself a privilege in sex, like Andrew Tate. He thinks this is a privilege for him. He's a smarter than you. He's richer than you. Those women are stupid, so we take advantage of them. We take advantage of them, as simply as that. <clears throat> so you know when a Muhammadan he say uh, when, when he make a statement we laugh at their statement and we show that they're still you know that they are uh, they are just uh, they make things up never never trust a Muslim saying anything to you never never you know a Muslim he cannot be trustworthy to tell you about his religion about his religion his prophet he cannot be trustworthy about anything because they lie about the religion. So how you will take 
their teaching about your Bible. Never trust a Muslim teaching you about Islam. So how you will trust him teaching you about your book? Never. Remember, they are followers of a pimp, Andrew Tate, which is Prophet Muhammad, new version. Uh, they lie always. Anyway, I will try to come back later at night if I could, but uh, feel free to download my videos. I will. I don't keep my videos, as you know, about such a scumbag like this. It's not an honor to keep such a video about such a low-class person, you know? Uh, Kado, if you want to ask questions, either you ask with respect or I will get rid of you. And you better get out. If you don't like Jesus, my friend, your stupid Quran says Jesus is holy. Muhammad is not. If you don't like Jesus because he's holy, because you are a scumbag, this is the only explanation. Jesus never commits sin, never approves sin, never teach son, sin, and he is right now in the holy heaven with the holy father. Even your stupid book agree. So if you are questioning about why Jesus, go ask your prophet, why Jesus Why Jesus did not do what Muhammad did? As an example, having sex with the children. Why Jesus did not have 13 wives? Why Jesus did not have thousands of sex slaves? Why Jesus says, forgive your enemy, love your enemy, when your prophet says, kill them, whatever you find them? Why Jesus said, it's better for you to put a milestone in your neck, throw yourself in the deep ocean, better than hurting the little ones while your prophet have sex with a child. Why Jesus said, take your eye, throw it away. It's better to make a part of your body destroyed than all of you destroyed in hellfire. Don't wish a woman she is not yours. Your prophet, he go to his son house and he flirt with the wife in the house of the husband, which is his son. And then he said to her loudly, my heart flip for you. And you are questioning Jesus. You have zero dignity. It is you who is the joke, who is your God, promising you sex. All your heaven is a sexual heaven. And this is what our topic today about, about pimp. What difference between somebody, he say, I have 75 women, girlfriends, and somebody says, you will have 72 women, girlfriend in heaven. You F them. They are made for sex. They will not even feel jealous. I will take the humanity out of them. They are not a human. They are made of silicon. What is different? No different. All your heaven is about sex. Solomon, he is not in heaven in your Bible, my friend. I am only asking question. No, you are not asking question. You are just a questioning and you know the answer. I'm sure you get the answer many times. Solomon was condemned by God for his sin. So if Solomon did not repent and cry for forgiveness, then he will not go to heaven. And if God did not accept his forgiveness, he will not go to heaven. Are you happy now? In your religion, no. In your religion, sin and for and fornication is a destiny. Sin and fornication is a destiny. God, he punished the man who took the wife of somebody else. Even he made his son die. For this is the fruit of false marriage. The fruit of a crime. When he tried to build a, a temple, God, he said, I don't want your temple. This is money blood. So my God, my friend, he condemn anyone, no matter how big he is, when he is committing a crime. And this is telling you the Bible is the book of the truth. Because why those kings? They allow the rabbis to write those stories about how bad they were in their presence. Not after they die.
So Solomon, he divorced his extra wives. Uh, I don't know if he divorced them or not, but still his sin is his sin. And if he did not repent and God forgive him, he will go to, to he will go to hell and he will be your, your prophet. But we have many places where he is asking for forgiveness. Same as David. Same as Solomon. So you are just being an idiot. So did he go to divorce his wives? Same time, uh, a Muslim right now, he converted to Christianity, and I met many of them. And he have more than one wife. The Bible does not approve you to divorce your wife because you are coming with a pagan background. But not because having more than one wife is the right thing, no. But because the Bible is again destroying a family. Those children, what will happen to them? If the man is the only supporter. So the Bible does not encourage wrong. And those who they are coming from pagan background, like a Muslim who convert out of Islam to Christianity, he was a pagan following Muhammad, and he had four wives. So what he will do? Shall he divorce all of them? Shall he kick them out? Shall he keep them? If he keep them, it's a sin. If he divorce them, it's a sin. Because now he's hurting the kids. So he have to manage to see how he can support his kids, and he will keep only one wife. But he can keep the wives as a wife without sleeping with them just to be protected by him. Like give them the same houses, he will keep only one woman, but he will give shelter to the rest of the family as it was before, but only he sleep with one woman. So you are a pagan and you are coming from a pagan background and then your paganism is coming with you. Already you commit many crimes. But God will not support hurting a children just because you become a Christian now you get rid of those uh, uh, the, the, the children and those women who have no support I'll give you another example uh, if a Muslim man he convert to Christianity and his wife she is a pagan Muslim black stone kisser shall he divorce her no even though in Christianity is not allowed to marry none believer. But because he is coming already from background and the marriage happened before he become a Christian, he do not need to divorce. Hey, my friend, I duct tape, as you say, uh, this is your claim. Do you want to call me? Yeah, Ammar? Do you want to call me? So if I commit sin, and the Bible says, don't multiply your wives. And then you say to me, this guy, he multiply his wife, will he commit sin? And we condemn his sin. Doesn't matter, his name is David, Solomon, Ahmad, Muhammad, doesn't matter. But you are a hypocrite. You're a prophet, he legalized his own privilege for sex. But Solomon, he did not. Did Solomon, he say that God told me to have a lot of wives? Did David do the same? No. They confessed their sin. And this is the huge difference. You Muslims, because you worship Muhammad, whatever Muhammad he does, you duct tape him and you say he's a prophet. I say, how many wives a Muslim can have? You say four. Okay, so why Muhammad, he broke the law, he have five, so 13? You say he's a prophet. You see us, we don't say that. <laughs> you see who's ducking tape? If Solomon is bad, he's bad. We say he's bad. If David is bad, we say he's bad. You Muslims, your prophet never bad, even though he's a child molester, he is a liar, he make a privilege about sex, still he is good. Why? Because you worship him. Who is the duct tape? Why Muhammad have a children wife? Because he's a prophet. So if you say to me, why Solomon he have many wives? I don't say because he's a prophet. I say because he's stupid. He's an idiot. He is a he's a he's a bad person. We don't praise him. Do you see the difference? Do you dare to say what I just said? You don't. You worship Muhammad. We don't worship Solomon. We don't worship David. 
and the Bible condemned their sin. None of you will dare to condemn the sin of Muhammad because simply he is your God. In fact, you will be killed. Just to make it simple. In fact, a Muslim, if he say the F word to Allah, he will not be killed. But if he insulted Muhammad, he will be killed. Do you dare to say I'm lying? You cannot. Which one is more important? Can you believe it? If you insult Allah, they give you three days to repent. If you insult Muhammad, even if you repent, they will be killed. I'm asking you about if Solomon ha he is in heaven. Are you are you saying to me you know who is in heaven, who is not? Are you claiming to be God? Even your prophet, you do not know. If he deserves to be in heaven, he will be in heaven. I'm asking you, is he in heaven now? Meow. Is he in heaven? Christian Prince, is he in heaven now? <laughs> Just to answer you, a child he was buried, and he is a Muslim infant. Infant. And Aisha, she said to Muhammad after the funeral, this child he will be in paradise. For he commit no sin, neither he reach the age of sin. Muhammad, he said to Aisha, and this is a good answer for you, by the way. Look at you now, you will become like a cockroach. He said, shut up, Aisha. It might be that otherwise. It might be. So do your prophet can answer the question, this infant, is he going to be in heaven or in hell? You see, I'm going with you now. Is this infant who did not do the sin of Solomon or the sin of David or the sin of a Christian prince or the sin of anybody? Is he going to go in heaven or not? Look, it says he commit no sin, neither he reach even the age he can commit one. Muhammad, you say we do not know. Allahu A'lam. It might be otherwise, which means he might go to hell. So now, I'm asking you a question. Is the Suleiman will go to heaven or not go into heaven? Okay, okay. I will tell my mom if he did not tell me. You are just a hoo hoo. You're a prophet. Do not know if an infant, listen carefully, this is not a person who commits sin. Infant who never commits sin, neither reach the age of sin, if he will go to heaven or he will be otherwise. And you are asking me about Solomon. <laughs> so are you saying your God, Prophet Muhammad, do not know? If the infant will go to sin, and why the infant will not go to heaven? Because you believe in destiny. And that make it more stupid because now, according to Islam, if Solomon, he his destiny to go to heaven, he will go to heaven even if he commits sin. If Solomon, his destiny to go to hell, he will go to hell even if he have no sin. And this is telling us that Islam is a stupid religion. Actually, according to your prophet, the filthy and rotate, he is destined to do this. Allah, he made him a pimp. Allah, he made him a pimp. Allah, destiny for him to convert to Islam because the Muslim believe everything is a destiny. So when a Muslim, he asks silly question to make it like, yeah, like I will make it hard for them to answer. Okay, I did not answer my question. Is Solomon will go to heaven? Yeah, I don't know why I will know, how I will know. I don't know if he will go to heaven or not. Who told you I'm God? Somebody told you that? Very silly. Very silly and very stupid, as they like their prophet. You know, they come with their diarrhea and the smell and the diaper is full of it, and then they ask you questions. In Salam in 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 Islam, Solomon is a prophet. Okay, I will go with you. Guys, did he say Solomon is a prophet? Guys, did he say Solomon is a wicked? Isn't it your Quran, you stupid idiot? Says Muhammad is a sinner, and you are talking about wicked? I mean, can you believe it, guys? Isn't it the Quran says, May Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad? Which means the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is wicked.
What if I show you now a story about David in Islamic books in your Quran? And the seer sending a man to die so he can take his wife in your book. What if I show you your prophet going to his own son house, flirting with the wife of his son, and later if in his son wife and taking her later as a wife? Who is the wicked? We, we don't have wicked. All of you are wicked. Your prophet is wicked. Your God is wicked. Your stone is a wicked. Your, your black stone is a vagina. But look at this. <coughs> is that your Quran saying, Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin? So Muhammad is a sinner. A sinner is a wicked man. And not only that, his sin is not guaranteed to be forgiven. Allah making a wish to different Allah says, may Allah forgive your sin. Are you there? Not all sin are extreme. Ah, okay. Well, is going to your own son, wife, flirting with the wife is not extreme sin for you? Guys, not all sin is extreme. So now he is trying to duct tape. There's different sin. There's different sin. This is not extreme sin. Okay. Muhammad going to his own son wife when the husband is not there and he flirt with the wife. Is that extreme sin or it is so-so for you? I will help you. It's so-so because in Islam, extreme sin does not exist. A pimp is okay. A thief is okay. A lion is okay. Cursing Allah is okay. <coughs> According to Quran, All sin are equal, all of them to be forgiven except shark. Let us open the verse. <laughs> Abdul, you are speaking to the one who have all your laundry here. Isn't this your Quran? Saying all sin is going to be gone. There's only one sin will not be forgiven. So what? Why you are lying to me says not all sin is the same? Huh? Why, why you lie? Why Muslim they lie? Look at this. Inna Allah la yaghfur an yushrak bihi wa yaghfur ma duna dalik. Allah he forgive not. Allah he forgive not. To associate with him anything else he forgive. It's in front of you. But you lie because you are a Muslim. You can't lie. Not all sin is equal. Okay. No. Here we go. I can show you even the verse in the Quran about a man who took a woman. She is married. Her husband is doing jihad with the Muslims. The guy in the store told her, get inside the store. His name is Nabhanu Tamar. He took the woman inside and he did with her. He told Muhammad, I did with her everything the man he do with the women except, except intercourse. Do you know what Muhammad said to him? He said, oh, it's okay. This is lemon. This is just lemon, man. Let's take it easy. Lemon. So you put your fingers in, your, in the women. <coughs> you put your. <coughs> you do it in the back door. <coughs> you suck her tongue. You play with her breast. You play with her private part. This is lemon. No problem. Lemon, brother. And she is married. Listen, she is married. The Muslim, they call it lemon. So if I go to the, uh, the, the, the house of this guy and I take his wife to the bed and we get naked, I touch her all over the place. In Islam, this is lemon. And I challenge you to say this is not true. I will open the verse and I will open the interpretation and you will be busted. What do you think? Are you there? Why are you all so quiet? <clears throat> you are quiet now. In a Christianity, there is no such thing. It's called lemon. Illa lemon. Don't worry about it. It's lemon, man. This is why you see Muslims when they go in the bus in the Middle East, they touch a woman's ass, they harass her because this is lemon. This is not even sin. Is not even considered as sin. 
So the Quran says, those who avoid the big sin, but in the other side, he just said, well, Allah forgive all sin except this. And now he's saying big sin. So what is a big sin? <coughs> Chapter 53, verse number 20, uh, 32. I'm raising my voice. I have to go so <coughs> my throat going dry. Those who avoid the great sin, see Quran chapter 6, verse 22. Okay, so what is the great sin? To do shirk with Allah. Okay, what is a small sin? Kissing a woman, she's married, playing with her private part. Yeah, this is lemon. You're playing. It's play. Play. In Islam, you can play with women. This is why you say it, or the other guy he said, you know, you know, Islam is easy. Islam is satanic, that's why it's easy. Satan, he justify for you everything. If you rape, it's fine. If you play with a woman, it's fine. If you use them, it's fine. If you take them to bed, it's fine. If you abuse them, it's fine. Because simply Allah, Islam is made for the man by the man. And that's why you will see the Quran speaking what? About men sin. Where is the women? Is that the promise for the women? No. The man, he take the women, he play with her. Allah, he forgive the man. Lemon. <clears throat> hmm. Is it wicked? If it's not rape, it's fine. We have punishment for rape. Well, in front of everybody, I challenge you to give me the verse of rape in the Quran. Is that fair, guys? Either you are a liar like your prophet or you are going to show me the truth. The word rape never mentioned in the Quran. In fact, the word rape is approved. Or let's say the act of rape is approved. And we can prove it. The act of rape is approved in Islam. There is no penalty for it. Prove me wrong. Isn't it a woman? She was in the desert, and she was almost dying. A Muslim walked by her, and she said, "Please give me some water. I will die." He would say, "I will give you water if you let me sleep with you." She said, "No, please, come on, don't do that. I need water." He said, "If you don't let me, I will not give you." Then the woman, she have no choice, but she let him do it. So now you will say this is not a rape, right? Because you're a Muslim. And then she went to the caliphate and she said, look what this man did with me. So what the caliphate, he said, Mahar, Mahar, Mahar. This was your dowry. A cup of water. <laughs> so forcing the woman to sleep with the man because she is dying in Islam is halal. Having sex with the children as an excuse to support them is halal. And now this guy is looking in Google for the punishment for rape in the Quran. He will never find it. Have you ever heard of a book of God he forgot to mention the word rape? Never mentioned. For this is religion of rapist. I will give you 10,000 years to find me the verse about rape. Hmm? I will help you. Go right now to English translation if you don't speak Arabic and type the word rape and see if you will find it in the Quran. Never. Same as the word Tawheed. Never. So, you Muslim, you have a big mouth, but in reality, you rape. Isn't it your prophet? He raped all his wives, most of them. Sophia and the rest. How many of them he raped? And you are saying to me, we punish rapist? That is your fraud, my friend. Anyway, guys, uh, <clears throat> who would like to watch the video of this guy, this lawyer, who he exposed what what uh, Tate he said in his seminar? I don't know where he got this video from. Uh, I, again, I don't care for the, what the lawyer is saying, uh, but... I care for what uh, uh, 
uh, this uh, uh, this Tate he said in the video. You see, here we go. See, guys, we challenged him to show us a verse in the Quran about rape. He said to us, the penalty of convinced rapist had been considered to be the same as the head of zina. But how that can be is the same. Rabies is somebody for somebody. How this is just adultery. <laughs> head of a zina. And what is the head of a zina? You whip his back. So are you saying to me has considered that means it's not exist in the Quran? So you search Google, you found there is nowhere in the Quran to speak about rape. Stupid your God, you have time to talk about the end of Solomon. Remember, Solomon is not wicked. He speaks to ants. The flying carpet of Solomon, the bird of Solomon, the diving shaitan for Solomon, building a statue synagogue for Solomon. But your God, Allah, don't have a time to talk about rape. Why he never heard of one? Maybe Allah, he forgot. And they say to you, Islam, the Quran is a perfect book, perfect book. And now they are looking for solution for rape. Look what he said. The penalty of convicted rapist had been considered to be the same as Hadzina. And you know what? Just to make it more funny, do you know how you can practice Hadzina? You have to bring four witnesses and they have to see the penis of the rapist going in and out. How a rapist would do that? Because according to had zina, which means the punishment of fornication, you have to bring four witnesses and they have to see the penis going in and out like a pen in the inkwell. So do you see how stupid your, your Sharia law? So you now you find a guy, Andrew Tate, having sex with your wife. What do you do? You say, please, Andre Tate, don't move, brother. I need to call some friends to come and see your penis. And then when you come, Andre Tate, he would draw or no. He will, he will make your wife in the top wearing a skirt. So you will see nothing. Even they are keep moving. They do not stop. Until now, you have no proof. Because according to your prophet, you have to see the penis going in and out. Actually, there's a hadith <coughs> about a man he said to the prophet, So Prophet, if I are you saying if I come to my house and I found a man in the top of my wife, are you saying I should give him some time, ask him to stay and do more until I find witnesses? The Prophet, he said yes. And let me for, show you the reference. And now he will say, oh, this is, you know, uh, this is the rumors. No. And this is Sahih. And the translation is false, by the way. It says, um, um, uh, um, Give him more time. And this is the hadith again. Yehi related to me from Malik, from uh, etc., from, 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 from the region of the region of Mr. Ephraim. Huh? He said to Allah Messenger, What do you think if I find my, a man with my wife? Shall I grant him respite? until I bring witnesses. Hey, Ammar, brother, do you like to leave your address in the chat? Because I want to see how you can prove that your wife is cheating on you. You come home, you find your wife having boom boom with somebody. You told the guy, listen, listen, please, can you keep going? Don't stop, please. Um, because I need to go and get four witnesses and now they have to see your penis going in and out not only just going in the room and find you naked or in the top of each other no they have to see his private part going in and out and you are telling me we have a penalty for adultery no wonder there's no adulterer in the Middle East because it's impossible to prove it four witnesses and I have to ask him to wait and continue and is that me hadith or this is your prophet? Aren't you ashamed? Isn't it this is the wickedness itself? 
and different hadith Muhammad he says, before you go home, you should send a message to your wife to tell her, I'm coming. You know why? Because why you want to go and see what's happening? Just tell her, man, I'm coming. So the boyfriend will run. Very decent religion. Not only that, Muhammad, he says, if you are coming from a trouble, don't go home at night. Wait until the morning and send her at night a messenger to tell her that you will be there in the morning. They asked the sheikh in the TV, what is the wisdom of this? He said, do you want to go home and find your wife with somebody else? And then you can't prove it because you have no witnesses. So why do you want to put yourself in such a situation? And then they say that Islam is a really religion and we have rules, we have Sharia rules, we are against zina adultery. You're right. And the rule happened when Muhammad's wife, she cheated with him, in him with someone, his name is Safwan. So Muhammad changed the numbers of witnesses from two to four. Muhammad, he waited 30 days. 30 days to see if there's more witnesses. He come with the three, they come with the three witnesses. Three. What Muhammad he did, he changed the numbers to four. So his wife can get out of it. Four. And not only that, Muhammad, he did beat the witnesses. And he waited for 30 days for a reason. He's waiting for Aisha because now Aisha is getting older. She have her, 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 uh, her uh, 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 menses, you know. So he waited to see if Aisha, she would have her menses or she is getting a breath from this guy because Muhammad, everyone knows he cannot have kids. So he waited 30 days. People talking about Aisha and this guy, they've been caught together having sex. Muhammad did not say anything about it. After 30 days, he come with the solution for witnesses and he did beat the three witnesses. Right? <coughs> yeah, I should go. My throat is really dry. Anyway, guys, download the video. And again, this is the link for, the, for this lawyer if you like to watch it. And then you will see why I'm saying this is very disgusting. Sorry, I posted the Arab, uh, the Arabic word. Hold on, let me get you the this lawyer uh, video. Who wants the lawyer video? Who's interested? I don't care about the lawyer. What he say? I care. I wish I can get the uh, uh, the the seminar itself because he is quoting from the seminar. But anyway, I think this will summarize for you. In this video again, this lawyer he is. Uh, playing for you the video of uh, the, the, the pimp, the Muslim pimp, and rotate, peace be upon him. And he's showing you how filthy he is legally. Not uh, This guy is not talking about morality now. He's not being, uh, he's just uh, speaking about what is legally right and legally wrong. Watch it and see what I'm talking about. All right? Very filthy, very disgusting. The most low class ever you can imagine. And I will post it actually in the in the info too. Let me post it in the info. So people who watch later, they can find it. You will find it under my, uh, uh, right away under Patreon in the info. Okay, his name, the lawyer, his name, uh, CLR Bruce River. This is his channel name. You know, we will, we will not play his video because I do not need it really. Uh, but what we care for is what uh, uh, what this pimp is saying. Peace be upon him. And let's explain all of what we said. Why those people, why why Muhammadan, they find Andre Tate is in total agreement with the religion. And why Andre Tate actually convert to Islam? Because both of them, they have the same value. Exactly the same value. So I want to say thank you all for being here. I don't think I will come back tonight again, but you never know. I might, I might get excited for some reason, you know. Maybe Allah will send me a dish of uh, shish kebab and I get the power of 40 men. And then I will come back here and we will continue exposing the lies of Islam. And you know what? Uh, I wanted to come here, but uh, there is. I found one of my wife's cheating, and then I need four witnesses. So please, can you please let me, if you are willing to come and witness? Hey, Ali, do you need a witness, my friend, in case your wife cheating on you or Ammar? 
Do you want a four Christian to witness for you? Or Christians are not accepted? I mean, we are here to help you, my friend. Because obviously, you will never catch your wife sleeping around. Because you are short of witnesses, even if you see her. Even. What a stupid religion. And you say to us, we have Islamic law. Well, I study Islamic law. I have a degree in it. It's the most farting law. This is why my dad, when I got a degree in it, I call him and says, Dad, I graduated. He said, you got a degree in farting. I got upset at that time. But now I understand. He was right. I got a degree in farting. This is what Islam is about. Thank you very much. God bless you. Take care, sir. I mean, again, he, he doesn't.